Hey guys, it's K1 from Camp Production and welcome back to my channel or welcome if you are new. And today we have a really cool tutorial, so stay tuned. So before I go into Photoshop and uh, start this tutorial, uh, there is a channel called Crazy Chimps. Uh, I just want to mention that this video is not sponsored by any channel, but I just want to help this guy because his content is really creative and his ideas by uh, making these videos are so professional. I will put one of his video link in the description box below. You can go and check it out if you like it, make sure you subscribe. When I see something creative like this channel, I really want to help him and give him a big shout out. So, so again, make sure you go to check out one of his videos. The link in the description box below. And thank you so much for this. And let's back to the Photoshop and we have this Raphael and um, this photo was taken by uh, Jessica Eplin. The link in the description of her photography page and she's really uh, amazing with her photos. So make sure you check out that too. I know I do a lot of requests but trust me these are creative people. So, so let's start with this photo. And uh, this photo was taken by uh, Canon EOS 5D Mark III, and I guess this uh, the lens is uh, 7200 millimeter. And yeah, so the first thing uh, I want to go with is highlight. Um, I want to go with all the way uh, up with highlight, which is plus 100. Then after that, I want to just add some shadow to bright up the image a little bit around like 40 plus 40 I think that's good and I think we are done with a uh, raw file then I'm going to click on open image okay so after opening my image I will go to duplicate my background as you can see there is a background copy here okay so the next thing we are going to do we have a uh, adjustment and then we have hue saturation. Now what I'm going to do with hue and saturation, I'm going to choose the green color. So basically I'm going to change the green color to something uh, like ottoman color. And that's kind of will give this photo a really cool dramatic effect. So I'm going ahead and bring down the uh, hue around minus 35 or 30 ticks. And then I'm going to click one of these. Uh, but make sure you don't click on the third one. Uh, you can able to choose the color with the first and the middle one, which is uh, the middle one you can choose um, more than one color. So I'm going to click here, and that's it. Uh, I think that's it. As you can see, I choose the, the green color. It, uh, it will automatically uh, change the whole green color to ottoman color. So that's it. The next step we have, uh, I'm going to adjustment again, we have curves. I really love using curves when it came to uh, any photos, any kind of photo. So I'm going to create three point here. One of, uh, one of the, the point is we're going to be here and one of it is going to be in the middle one. and one of here but I'm not gonna change that too much I think that's it just bring up uh, a little bit this point when uh, when you bring up this point as you can see uh, it will automatically give us matte effects as you can see uh, more you bring up the this point more you get matte effect so I'm not gonna add too much uh, matte effect so that's cool. So I think that's it. And I'm going to close it. You can see the difference. And then I'm going to adjustment again. Uh, brightness. Add some brightness around 7. Around or 10. That's going to be good. Then I'll go to adjustment again. This time I'm going to solid color. I'm going to click on the black color. Then I'm going to click OK. Then I'll bring down the opacity around something like uh, around 25%. Uh, 
and then I will go to brush tool and make sure you choose the black one and flow and the opacity is 100 and make sure the hardness is zero I just want to make my brush bigger as usual I'll paint to remove the darkness from the center of the image as you can see this is before this is the after then I'll go to adjustment again uh, this time I'm going to color lookup one of my favorite preset uh, on this old preset is Kodak 52 18 Kodak 2395 I'm gonna click on that one and as you can see it's gonna give you a really nice effect but I don't want to apply this effect I just want to bring down the opacity around 20 so as you can see this is before and this is the after and then we have uh, after that we have uh, selective color in selective color we have a bunch of color you can uh, basically control uh, this color with um, was change these slides uh, and uh, what I'm gonna do I'm going with red and add a little bit of the cyan around um, around uh, 20 plus 20 and then bring down some black around like uh, 7 plus 7 then I'll go to click on yellow and then I'll bring down some CN around minus 19 and then add some magenta around plus 20 and then bring down some yellow around minus 10 so as you can see it's not a really big difference but as you can see it's gonna really uh, improve your color uh, when it's come to selective color okay so then we have uh, adjustment again brightness and contrast I just want to add some contrast around 20 that's gonna be good and then I'll go to um, gradient filter and I'm going to choose the black one then I'll click OK then I'll go and click on reverse which is I wanna add uh, some black vignette to the um, top of the image and then I will go to click OK and then bring down some passy around 50 and then click on the layer mask then I'll go to gradient tool make sure it's black and white click OK and just slide it up just like this so as you can see so you cannot apply the darkness on the uh, center of the image then I'm gonna play with uh, a little bit of levels as you can see uh, so basically you can control the uh, black area and white area and levels and that's something cool I guess so as you can see if you if, if I bring down this there will be more dark in color if I bring up this there will be more a uh, brightness color so I'm just gonna bring up uh, this a little bit add some of the okay so that's it this is before and this is the after so much big different okay so then I'm going to adjustment again this time I'm going to use a uh, color balance now there is a technique which is a very cool on color balance now if you have a red color in your uh, in your photo it's good to add some opposite color which is the cyan I don't know if cyan but hopefully it's yes I'm going to add some cyan around minus uh, 11 and we have a kind of yellow here I just want to add some blue tone over uh, this photo which is around plus 10 and as you can see this is before this is the after it will really improve your uh, image okay so the final step I'm gonna use one of my lights on my light package the link in the description if you want it uh, there was around 20 light uh, in my light package uh, so if you're interested you can get it in the description box below so after I drag the light into my image, I'm going to change the blend mode to screen. And as you can see, you can get a really pretty nice 
um, light so I'm gonna put it over here uh, as you can see this is before this is the after uh, I'm just going to bring down some past around like 95 not too much and then I'll go to filter blur gaussian blur add some uh, radius around like 20 Um, then I will go to click OK. Okay, so that's it, guys. Uh, I hope you like this tutorial. If you like it, make sure you thumbs up. And if you are new in this channel, make sure you subscribe for more upcoming tutorials. And see you next time and have a great day.